Welcome to this Tutor to You Introduction to Sociology topic video looking at sociological perspectives. The term sociological perspectives is used quite widely in the study of society, but what exactly are sociological perspectives? The term sociological perspectives refers to the way in which different groups of sociologists view society. A sociologist's perspective is the way in which they see the world, and this will influence the different types of methods they may use and the topics they choose to research. There are a number of different sociological perspectives, and sociologists may align themselves with a particular way of viewing society based upon their own personal values. For example, if they believe society is unequal or that individuals are able to act in their own interests. Other sociologists view society from a more detached and objective viewpoint, using more scientific methods and trying to draw conclusions from what they observe. There are different types of sociological perspective that sociologists will broadly identify with. How do these differ in viewing society? Well, there are two broad categories that traditional sociological theories fall into. Some sociologists will adopt a structural approach to studying society. Now, these sociologists believe that society shapes the individual and their behaviour and they focus on the impact that social factors have upon individuals. On the other hand, there are social action theorists, who suggest that individuals are not shaped by social forces, and they have free will and are able to make choices based upon their own unique interpretations of society. Let's look at those in a little bit more detail. So our structural theories suggest that social forces shape the behaviour of individuals, but they view society on a macro level. That is, they're concerned with examining social trends and drawing broad conclusions about human behaviour. They look at wide ranging social issues that impact on, a, that impact on most of society. Issues such as poverty, unemployment, health, crime. But even within these structural approaches, there's not an agreement on how society is organised. And the structural approaches are broken down even further into conflict and consensus theories. Conflict and consensus theories are two different approaches to studying society, which have opposing views. Conflict theorists argue that society is divided into two or more groups that are in competition for power and resources. The most common conflict theories are Marxism, that looks at class conflict, and feminism, which looks at conflicts between genders. Consensus theories, on the other hand, suggest that society is more balanced and that people have a common identity and purpose. They agree on society's norms and values. And the most common of these consensus theories is functionalism. Going back to social action theories, they examine society on a micro level. They focus more on the lives of individuals and small groups than trying to understand society as a whole. They suggest individuals will have free will to make decisions and that these actions will influence social changes. As a result, they prefer to examine the experiences of individuals, and particularly those that do not have a voice in society. They may also examine more complex individual ideas, such as the formation of identity, how people interact with one another, and how people find meanings from symbols in society. The most common form of social action theory is interactionism. There are a lot of different sociological perspectives, many of which aren't covered here, but on most sociology courses, you will examine the more commonly covered perspectives. These are functionalism, which is a structural consensus perspective, Marxism, a structural conflict perspective that looks at class conflict, feminism, which on a basic level is a structural theory that examines gender conflicts in society, interactionism, which is a social action theory, 
the new right, which is more of a political ideology than a sociological theory, and postmodernism, which examines what is called post-structural society. There are other perspectives that you will study as you progress through your learning more about sociology, but these perspectives are ones we will look at in future videos in this series. That concludes this tutor to you introduction to sociology topic video looking at sociological perspectives. Thanks for watching.